Uh, hello everyone, I'm here with my last Lego Star Wars 1999 review for Throwback Thursday. And there will be plenty of other Star Wars to go around for Throwback Thursday, and like other old ones, and yeah. Well, let's enjoy it. And this one is on the uh, Moss Espa Pot Race, the biggest one of 1999 wave. So on the front of this booklet, you see Lego System logos, the uh, Star Wars logo, the episode 1 version, and the pod racing scene, and the list of the pod racers there, and the logo, and set number 7171 on the back, them in pieces, and some crazy looking alternate builds. And now, on to what was always present in these older sets, or little comic strips in the booklets. Flip it over, get that, you can see the numbers are pointed to alternate builds, which they also show here. And then we have to flip on over. Now, on to our selection of mini figures included with this, which has quite a lot for this size of a set. But, you know, it's what you would occasionally expect from a larger set nowadays. So the first of all is again Qui Gon Jin. Or just Qui Gon Jin one. Of which is the same as in most of the other 1999 sets and just other early sets. Focus. There we go. And once again, same as in most of the other 99 sets. Like no back face printing or torso, torso printing, but not including the green lightsaber like the other ones did. And, yeah. and next up, Jar Jar Beats. the most annoying character in Star Wars. And well, this version of which also seen in the uh, Gungan subset in 99 as well. Uh, and also Naboo Swamp as well. And, but also no back printing and not at all any printing on his headpiece, which is, since of course it's an older one. And next up, is young Anakin Skywalker see with the goggles and stuff from the uh, Naboo fighter set and the Anakin's pod racer set but as you can see same stuff same everything no back printing and yeah and next up is uh, Padme Amidala uh, same one used in the uh, Anakin's pod racer set and same hair piece, same everything, but nicely molded hair piece for the time. And, uh, and then next up, the original R2D2 one, also which is also used in some other 99 sets. Like if it decides to focus. Uh, 
okay well if it focuses you can kind of see that some of the torso printing and head printing of which same as the other versions well the new top head version similar to later versions but the headpiece in white it has And then and you also get three pit droids. Here's one in well, they're in the same color scheme, but each one has the colors in different places. Like this one has an all white body and round arms and legs. And then this one of which all brown body and arms and legs, but there are, and also brown dome piece when the others are white, and then the third of which, same as in the uh, Anakin's Pod Racer set, but with but each have different accessories to them, and, yeah. and on to the only exclusive characters to this set being Gascano, which looks not much like he does in the movies. And the same goggle piece as uh, Anakin. Uh, if it focuses, you can, you can kind of make out that little face print there. Come on, come on. Well, anyways. Whoops, can't stand on my little thingy. Well, it does have four arms, but it is just an insect feeding. Get that right, Lego. But also, this is like the only Lego figure that there ever was of Gascano. Just like with uh, uh, Zam Wessel in the. 2002 Bounty Hunter Pursuit. I'm going to show that face printing uh, without the head, without the helm. Come on, focus. Well, anyways, and last but not least is the only is uh, Sebulba. And this first set to ever include Sebulba, now that you think of it. It's like all one solid piece. Kind of like they did with uh, Valdar Vito and some other ones. And also the hand feet he's standing on is, are together, and it's all one solid figure. But also well detailed at the time. Like in comparison, whoops, comparison to the 2011 Sepulpa, which is the only one they've ever done of him. You see, a little similar in shaping. But, and of course, the arm legs are, are separate pieces and also a lot more detail. And also, pr nice printing all around. And, but yeah. and that is it. It's open. And now, on to the side builds. This, this basic flag stand. Also seen in the uh, Atkins Pod Racer set with the yellow and blue flags and Lance piece in yeah, and also you get two of these other flag stand things. Like using the classic space and slash Kopaka from Bonacle Shield 
but in black to the rooftops. You can see the builds are quite similar. Like one has a white and black flag, and one has a black and green flag, and each have different tools around them. And now on to the pot racers that the pot racers included. First of which is Anakin's Pot Race. And if you are to look at my review on the Anakin's Pot Racer standalone set in the Snow Spear of 99, go ahead and check that out. Because, yes, we we'll, probably won't cover this one because same exact build. And also. That stand. Also, this stand as well. So, they just use the same exact build in this set, but it's kind of a laziness factor. Like, why not make this set without Anakin's Pot Racer at the time? So, I like double dipped on it. Not like I really wanted to, but just kind of the way it worked out. And I think. Maybe the standalone version didn't sell so well because of this set. But what can you do? But moving on to what of which is Gascano's Pod Racer. Who of which that of which we've never got a remake of. Neither with the Wild Junkyard set from 2001 version also never had remakes. But as you see, they you have all sand there to represent the sounds of Tatooine. And his in which has this like this like things around being the jet propulsion which and like the other ones have the like clear orange cylinder pieces being the electric current for them. But on this one of which had these little flap things that open up and reveal little saws on the sides. See, and the color scheme mainly green and accents of orange and purple. Interesting. The front area which has some good shaping to it. Some like interesting printed brick there. And and about enough spacing. To fit your Gascano mini fig onto, like clipping his hands onto that thing. And that's going to be longer bricks to make it look like it's floating and all. And some more of those uh, wire pieces used as uh, cables for it. What else to cover? We also got those like large cylinder pieces in green, which not very common, but cool to have in this set. And what else is there to say? But oh yeah, some good greebling for the time. And as you can tell, and I guess that is it with Gascano's Pod Racer. And now on to with a uh, Sepulba's Pod Racer, which probably the most cool, probably a very cool one. Like it's, it's like the front engines of which do have those like uh, curve bricks. Used to be the like endings of it, which which they kind of also used on the 2011 version. And then moving down, got a lot of the like cylinder pieces acting as greebling, and also large wheels. But also not at all any stickers in these sets; they're all printed. But also a lot of these of those tiles seen in the Droid Fighter set. But on this one, which you can turn these knobs, and then 
the light little chainsaw has come right up to do some damage to Anakin and that's it all. And then same cabling as the other two put on the front or main engineering can like flip these saws down and then for other things. And also got a uh, macaroni two piece just acting probably as either an exhaust funnel or back seat or headrest or something and enough space to fit your Sepulpa thing on as well and then quite like the like slopes with the prints on them might be useful in walks and stuff but the classic space uh, cylinder pieces but in orange oh, which is kind of cool uh, use the pieces And, and it's standing on the most highest of bricks, which I don't see very often used in sets, but nice to have here. And now to the, the comparison, or yeah, comparison of this and the 2011 uh, pot, it's a bulbous pot racer, which was in the uh, pot racer set then, of it and Anakin's. So like as you can see, as for the detailing, like white striping on the 2011 version, but none on the 99 version. But like the large jagged power minor wheels, which of course came along later, that but the like clear uh, Technic beaming rather than the uh, tan tiles, and those a bit different shorter tubing rather than the larger, larger ones. And same marking as the uh, slope ones did, but it's the more rounded slopes. So, yeah. But also on the later version, some accents of gold, whereas the 99 one, none at all. So I guess the 2011 version did kind of improve, but whatever. Well, at least it's been a while since they did this one of it. If they did another version of it, let it be a little similar to that, to this one, but with some accents of this, but with these in it. And yeah. And what else is in there? Not much. But let me round these all out. And we'll call the verdict. Oh, whoops. This I think a pretty good cool set or cool set of 1999. Got three pod racer, but a little similar to the 2011 pod racer set, but with three rather than two for the same price, and a lot more to it. Which and at least this a good reminder of the early days of Lego Star Wars. But yeah, if they did a set of this nowadays, then I expect it to be a little bit better. And for those of you who had this set at the time, I hope you had some good memories of it. And now, for some other closing thoughts. Here's all the sets of 
from Star Wars in 1999, all right here. Like, starting off from the uh, episode, or prequel trilogy line, the Together set of TIE Advance, and also uh, uh, Y-Wing, yeah. And then X-Wing Starfighter, then Speeder Bikes, and then Snow Speeder, and Land Speeder. And that is it with that one. And then the other theme of Episode 1, that... Uh, Nabi Swan. And the first set ever, the lightsaber duel. And then Joy Fighter, uh, Gungan Sub, Nabu Star Fighter, Sith Infiltrator, then Anakin Pod Racer standalone one, and then the biggest Boss Espa Pod Race. Okay, so. Although this is which was a little bit hence and not some people were hence of this, not thinking that it was a good directing for Lego to go with. Like they thought they were over commercializing by tying in such a big, highly merchandised franchise. But here we are, twenty years later, and it's one of the best series ever from Lego. And these sets started all that. And without these sets, there wouldn't be LEGO Star Wars to this day. And for those of you who still have these sets, hope you had some good memories of them, and quite lucky too. And those who haven't and started LEGO Star Wars much later, well, that's alright. And that is it with this review. And until next time, or next next Throwback Thursday, any Star Wars wise, We'll probably have some other Star Wars sets over the years, such as other ones and Technic sets and Technic Star Wars, and yeah. And that is it, and thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.